This is a pretty good example of how fires can occur in houses or in mains cables. This is a video of me and my colleague using an insulation resistance tester. The brand we're using here is called a Mega. It's a pretty standard brand in New Zealand. The principles behind an insulation resistance test is that it passes a higher voltage than normal through the cable you're testing and it stresses all the points of weakness in the cable. As you can see in this video, at the top above the white phase where we've cut it, there's a little bit of swarf left over from the copper and it's tracking its way through that. If a nail or a nick or something had pierced the cable when you lay it, then this could happen as you're using the cable and over time that will start to burn. Sometimes it just burns a little hole and will start tripping MCBs or pole fuses. Other times it can burn out meters worth of cable, which becomes far too common when consumers start to flip breakers back on when they keep on tripping. They just keep flipping them on and each time it sparks a bit more. That's why it's important to keep your resistance low. You'll see these last couple of pictures were mainly main switches, but all burns of some description because of high resistance.